Okay, I wanted to add this little part of a video, part three. Uh, this is showing on a site on eBay, 12 volt slash 24 volt 600 watt with controller. Now if you read down below here, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Right there. Here's what it reads. The reason for the weak power generation of Red Lantern wind turbines are as follows. Because of its own design reasons, the power generation of vertical axis wind turbines is far less than that of horizontal axis wind turbines. The problem is a worldwide problem and has not yet been solved. But its advantage is that it can be started in the breeze, a beautiful appearance, and not easy to break. Or the damn thing don't work. Because of the blades, the fan speeds can only slow down when it reaches a certain speed, and it cannot continue to run at a high speed. Therefore, the ideal the, the ideal power generation cannot be achieved. Most of the wind turbines are used in wind, solar, hybrid power generation systems. The combination of wind and light can achieve better results and ensure the stability of power generation. Because of the unstable wind, the power is high and low sometimes. Therefore, the amount of power generated by our wind turbines is calculated in one day. In other words, a 24-hour period. And the amount of electricity generated and the cumulative amount of electricity generated in one day, it is not that a strong wind will generate 20 watts power. The maximum power generation of the wind turbine is only 20 watts. But the number of strong winds that are generated in one 24 hour generates the amount of electricity generated by wind turbines. So basically what they're stating is real simple. <laughs> this is great. You and I are used to, you know, like I have a, a hot plate or my cooker oven. And it states that it's 1500 watts. Well, if I test it with a meter, guess what? It is showing 1500 watts. Or... It's pulling about 13, I think around 13.7 amp, uh, amps. And therefore, if you put the amps times 110 volts, she's producing about 1,500, a little bit over 1,500 watts. That's what we're used to. Now, here's the thing on these wind generators. When they calculate or they say it produces 400, 600, 1,000 watts, that's over a 24-hour period. It's like this one here states, this thing only produces 20 watts of power. But if they, if they take it over a 24-hour period, it is now 480 watts. So that's how they get the wattage on these things. So in other words, if you have a 600-watt unit, you're only producing 25 watts per hour. And then you accumulate it over 24 hours. Now you have 600 watts. So the, the the sense of this whole thing is is you're really getting screwed over on these things. Like I said, I have the vertical axis wind turbine, one pretty close to this one. It pr has produced absolutely nothing with winds of 20 plus miles an hour. A couple of the eBayers on there have them up doing over. 30 miles an hour and still producing very little electric. Now, I do have a horizontal wind, axis wind tur turbine that you've seen in my videos before this. It's 330 watts. On a real, real good day, she'll produce about 230, 240 watts over a 24 hour period. Like I said, this is over a 24 hour period. So I have solar panels that produce well over that on some good days I have a 600 watt system it produces over 2500 watts because it's over a 24 hour period which is actually about an 8 hour period when the daylight is out but that's 
a 600 watt system truly producing some power where these 600 watt 400 watt turbines they're really not producing anything so I just wanted to kind of add that bit and you can read this if you want to uh, that's basically what you got you have literally nothing on these Chinese wind turbines say good night Mel good night